Good morning, and thanks for making Tiger TV Network your choice for news and information here at Middleton High. I'm Matthew Carter. And I'm Enrique Ferrer. Thank you for tuning in to our first official broadcast of the school year. Our top story this morning, the countdown to picture day here in the land. In just a few days, our Tiger underclassmen will primp and post for the photographers. Reporter Jameer Shine is in Studio B with more. Jameer? Good morning. Picture day is in just a few short days away. To our underclassmen, you will be taking photos during your English classes on September 13th and 14th. For, se for our seniors, if you haven't sent your yearbook photos appointment yet, please do on the link in Canvas by January 2024. If you haven't taken your photos yet, make sure you schedule it on Katie's website. Reporting for Tiger TV, I'm Jameer Shine. Now back to you. The other story we're following, Friday Night Lights. In just a few hours, our Tiger varsity football team takes on Leonard at Leonard. Kickoff is at 7.30 p.m. And by the way, last night, our Tiger JV football team took to the field for its first official matchup of the season against Blake at Blake High School. Unfortunately, we don't have the outcome to that game because it wrapped up after our press deadline. And speaking of Blake, the highly anticipated Heritage Classic between our Tiger first varsity football team and the Yellow Jackets takes ne place next Thursday night at Blake. There are a lot of fun activities leading up to that event. Be sure to check your Canvas page for details. You don't want to miss it. In other sports news, our Tiger swim team starts the season with a new coach. Here's our reporter, Ethan Van Name, with the story. Ethan? Hello, I'm Ethan Van Name with Tiger TV Network, and I'm here with Mr. Dodson, our swim coach. So, uh, Mr. Dodson, how do you feel about the swim team this season? Well, I'm really excited about the swim team. Like, I, I've been coaching in the district for almost 20 years now. Um, this is the first time I've ever coached swim, and the reason I took on coaching swim was because the position was open. So when I got the team, I was very excited about what kind of prospects it was going to be, and it's a whole different version than coaching, say, the volleyball team or softball teams. Um, so it's, it's been quite the exciting um, endeavor to, to see what these kids can do and, and what they're all about. Okay, uh, so what have you changed this season since you're coach now? Um, so I've brought in my own flair. Coach Solomon was the previous coach, and she was awesome. Um, the kids loved her. I'm not sure they love me quite as much. I definitely um, am all about the fitness part of it and trying to get as many kids to be able to do this as possible. Um, for me, it's not necessarily about who the best swimmer is in every single event. It's more about the individual personal accomplishments that any one person can make. Um, it's still a team sport because it still matters that we're all together as a team, but the individual aspect of it is a part that each individual person can see their own growth, and I'm trying to make sure that they get to see that. So I think that's probably one of the bigger differences is that I'm just really pushing that individual growth aspect with each swimmer based on the current level they're at okay. and not trying to compare them to everyone else. So more focused on the individual uh, component than the team component as much. Yeah. So, and would you have any words you want to say to anyone who may be contemplating joining the swim team? Um, if you don't like running, but you still want to find a way to get physically fit, and you've never been coordinated when it came to a team sport, so kicking a soccer ball, hitting a baseball, uh, throwing a football, just never was your thing, swim might be it for you. Instead of running in the hot heat, we're swimming in the pool. It doesn't matter your experience level, we will find an event that you can excel in and we will teach you how to become athletic and how to take better shape of yourself and, and why not. So you just gotta make, you're gonna get your hair wet. As long as you're okay with that, be good to go. So. Thanks Ethan. Our swimmers are back in competition tomorrow morning at City Relays. Start time is 9 a.m. You may remember Hurricane Idalia forced the cancellation of fall sports events across the district last week and forced the shutdown of schools across the state. However, even though our campus was closed as well, Tiger TV reporters were still hard at work covering the storm. Reporter Alisa Lentz has the story. Hurricane Idalia forced the cancellation of fall sports events across the district last week and led to the shutdown of schools. But even though campus was closed, Tiger TV reporters were still hard at work covering the storm. Take a look at a few of the reports they filled. Oh, 
I'm Shanice James and I'm currently in Walmart on Hillsboro and we're expecting a hurricane and I'm literally in Walmart and that's the water aisle and it's literally only one brand of water and so yeah tigers be safe and let's prepare for this unexpected hurricane This is Raina Rahm reporting from Tiger TV. I'm currently in my neighborhood near uh, Barris Avenue. And as you can see, it's raining outside and the, this hurricane's about to approach. So just a reminder to anyone that if you have any items that could become projectiles or are fragile, it's a good idea to secure them. Tiger TV appears to be the perfect place to develop broadcasting skills. You may remember one of our former anchors and reporters, Laith McCowie, a member of Middleton's class of 2022. Well, now Laith is a senior at USF, majoring in mass communications with a minor in political science. Laith was just hired as an intern at Fox 13 here in Tampa. He covered Hurricane Adalia as the storm rolled through just off the coast of the Bay Area. Take a look. Good evening, Leith McCowie reporting from Clearwater Beach, Florida. As you can tell, Hurricane Idalia is hitting very hard at the moment. It is about 10.30 p.m. or later. As you can tell, tropical storm force winds were expected by 8 p.m. in this area, and it's not as windy as expected. It is still very strong gusts. It's raining very heavily on and off in the area. Stay safe, stay indoors. You don't want to be out in this. We are Tiger proud of Laith for his accomplishments and for representing the land in our community. For Tiger TV, I'm Alyssa Lentz. Now back to you in Studio A. That's amazing that Laith has earned such an awesome opportunity. He's definitely one to watch. And, and speaking of watching, thank you for allowing Tiger TV to be part of your day. Join us again next week. Our show airs Thursday morning, just in time for Thursday night's Heritage Classic and all the events leading up to the big game. I'm Matthew Carter. And I'm Enrique Ferrer. Until then, make it a great rest of the day in the land of the Tigers. Tiger pride. Tiger proud. Let's go, let's go, let's go.